the thing. Okay, ready, Julie? Question number one. I am ready. Country? <laughs> country like country you live in, but what, what is country like we live in a city versus we live in the country? Same. Same thing. Okay. Okay. Usually if you're saying like we live out in the country like that type, people will say out and either country or country, flat or why. Okay. But it's the same sign. Other questions? Um, near versus easy. Is near and easy? So easy is coming up from the bottom. Easy, hard, easy. And then near is Oh, here. on the inside. Okay. Correct. So like you could say like um, spring is coming closer. Mm -hmm. It's approaching that way. You will also see people do near with it on this side too. So you could say I live near the mall or near the mall either way. And were you doing live because we were trying to decide. You can do live with A's or L's. Okay. In the last, so when I first started teaching ASL, it was always with L's. Mm -hmm. But that's more English, right? Well, and I think that it was kind of, they looked at it as kind of an accommodating thing for hearing people, L, make it easier, you know, associate with lib. Now, really, in about the last five years, they've really kind of started to change back to some of the more older signs, and it was with A's. And like the sign for address is like live, live. So you would say my address is 4805 Northeast 130th Street or street. Or your address what? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I was going to ask you guys if you feel like you're in a place where if you saw a deaf person, if you would be comfortable approaching them and trying to initiate a conversation. If it wasn't COVID awkward, you know. Yes. Because I, I'm not gonna go to a hearing person. I'm probably not yeah. gonna go to a deaf even. <laughs> right. So we, we would start when, you know, when the kids would start to get, and you guys are definitely beyond where I would encourage the kids to try to, to connect. But the, the conversation would always start out with, you know, first of all, oh my God, there's a deaf person, you know, you, you notice there's a deaf person. Well, how do you know they're deaf? Well, they're signing. Does that mean they're deaf? Maybe somebody is, but that doesn't necessarily. So when, and you're right, we need to get closer to more normal times. Um, oh, this is take a random thought. Um, I was at a funeral service on Monday and there were some deaf people at the funeral and they had an interpreter there and, um, the mask that the interpreter was using had clear here. Uh, and um, so whenever there's an interpreter on anything I'm at, I'm very distracted because I'm always looking to see, you know, oh, is this interpreter any good or is it, you know, she was outstanding, but um, it was very unsettling to just have that mask and, I could see for deaf people how terrible this, so much worse. Anyway, when we get there, I hope that if you see a deaf person, the first thing that you wanna do is just say, hello, are you deaf? Try it. So usually if you just go, you deaf, then they're gonna come back with, yeah, they're gonna come back with,
yeah, I'm deaf. Are you deaf? And you always, yes, would come back with no, I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. It's never just yes or no. It's always no something or yes, something. Yes, I'm deaf. Oh, same, you know, no, I'm hearing. And then usually you would follow it with, I'm learning sign. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's easy. <laughs> right, I need practice, right? Whatever. What do you suppose is the next comeback? Is it's funny because the kids would always say, oh my God, the conversation was exactly like you said. Mm -hmm. So then the deaf, before we get to nice to meet you, nice to meet you is always the clue that I'm out of here. Oh. <laughs> this is like, and I would tell my students, you know, if you get nervous or if you're starting to, you know, feel awkward or you don't understand, you know, you could just say, oh, well, nice to meet you. Goodbye. And that's, that's always your last mm -hmm. thing. But once you say I'm learning sign, the deaf person is going to ask one of two things. They yeah. don't care about your name. Yes. Oh. They care about either your teacher who Mm -hmm. or you learn sign where so and it's not that they don't you know really care about your name but this is not a, a situation where you're trying to make a friend really so odds are you're probably you know oh yeah nice you know so here because where i live the school for the deaf in washington is in our city and so we have a very tight um, deaf community. I would imagine, Rochelle, that you have a, a pretty sizable deaf community being in Akron. I, I think you'd be surprised um, because Goodyear is still a, a big employer of deaf people. I don't know about your cities, Shonda and, and Fran. It's but about two and a half hours away from where I'm at. Where the, the school for the deaf is your city very big population wise well it's like a lot of suburbs we've got 50,000 in this one 50,000 in this one so nobody's very big but we have a lot of us around right and you've got deaf people in your church so obviously yeah. there are some deaf people in your community right. do you know about yours Fran well, at any rate, what would happen here, you know, your teacher who, and then my students would say, Pagel. And you, you never bother with, you know, Mr. Mrs. Anything just like, you know, the last name. And then the question, the, the response was either, oh, mm hmm or, hmm, I don't know. I don't know that person. And then they would respond with my maiden name. And they would use my name sign. And then almost everybody would know that name because my dad was a teacher in the community for 30 years. So for you guys, when somebody say, who's your teacher? You could say, or where are you learning it? You could say, you know, I'm learning online, right? You could say, um, uh, I had one teacher that was a college teacher name and then you could just say oh um a friend is teaching me sign and then then they're gonna you know automatically suspect that you know oh this does this person doesn't know anybody doesn't doesn't know what they're talking about because they're very uh, protective which mm -hmm. they should be of the language but then if you say you know she is a coda then they'll accept that. They'll go, oh, okay. I, I'm sure that nobody where you live now would know my maiden name. Right. But it is, but it is interesting. When we were in um, Washington, DC, and we went to Gallaudet University twice, that was where my parents met. Both times we were there, we ran into somebody who knew my dad or my mom 
So it's a pretty small world. Anyway, then when you were, you're out, you know, okay, nice to meet you and, and get out. And I hope when COVID is over and we're getting closer that you will get the chance to use it because once you start to use it, you just get more confident and you'll feel better. And then all of a sudden it's gonna click and you're just gonna be more and more comfortable every day. Cool. We have a local deaf church I was invited. So I went on a Sunday and I was the only other hearing person besides the interpreter, but I thought I would blend in. I did not blend in. There wasn't oh, no. a lot of us on Zoom. So I had to introduce myself. And so I think in person, I would like to go when they open again, just to. Yes. Go. That's awesome. So. And because it's such a tight community, you're going to stand out no matter, even if there were, you know, 50 people and you were in person, it'd be like, oh, you know, who, who's that? Who, oh, you know, and as long as then when you can introduce yourself, you know, oh, you know, my name, Shonda, mm -hmm. you know, I'm learning sign. I want to become, right. you can have a simple conversation. That's awesome. Or if you came okay, to our so hearing church, you would, we have at the most 30 people at our little church that that's close to in our neighborhood here. So you would stand out no matter what, but you're all yeah. invited when you come to the lake. <laughs> yeah, Steve's pretty excited about that. He was like, oh yeah, they, they ski, Allison said, we gotta go. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you'll be sorry you invited everybody. Oh no, never. <laughs> um, just at, at right before we started, I sent you guys a list. You may or may not have got it, but I put um, some opposites on there and then just some, some random vocabulary that I, I thought you would, you'd use. And um, any other questions before we look at those? Um, we forgot how to say far. So here's far. near. Okay. Right. Far. far. Mm -hmm. And if it's very far, like if I'm saying, uh, so I said, let's say, oh, your hometown and the school for the deaf, how far are they? If it's super far away, you know, you could say, oh, it's far, you know, uh, if it's really far away, you're going to go and you just point and you're just going to go way out and you'll blow far yes exactly so like when we were talking about something Fran and I was saying that you should go to Gallaudet because you weren't that far and you were like you would use yeah you would use that so near and far uh clean and dirty clean now if I do this this is clean up oh right Clean and nice are really the same sign. So, and there are times when you really may not be able to differentiate because of the context. Like you could say, oh, your house is so nice. If it's super clean, you'll see it faster. Wow, so clean. Oh, it's nice. Wow. But it's Really, it's the same sign. It's just the speed is a little bit different. Obviously, you know, it's not going to be clean to meet you and those kinds of things. But there's going to be a few instances where it could be either sign. And you could always, you know, mm, dirty, clean, or nice. Dirty is like this. Yeah. Or anything. So, anything. Yep. My clothes were dirty. Ooh, my dog. <laughs> dog is dirty. Someone had a dirty mind, right? Dirty house. I need to clean up. So any, all dirty is here. If you do it under your nose, it's cheat. Like uh, so-and-so was cheating when we were playing cards. Yeah. Dirty clean and the sign 
for opposite is just ones and you pull apart. So if I said, um, yes, you could say, or you could say, yes, yeah, young. Mm -hmm. So, absolutely. Work and play, I think we know those. Wise. Mm -hmm. If you're working hard, you'll see just continual work, work, work. So I might say, not doing that again. Got a very big thorn in my hand and I'm struggling to get it out. That was not part of the <clears throat> job description. Um, study. Yeah, study. Hmm. Um, and, and really you didn't, would never use that for ASL because you would just use practice, really. Just practice signing or signing. You don't really study. Rest or relax. Oh, yeah, it's just rest, relax. So maybe um, next week. And then chill or just kind of, you know, just lay low. I think I showed you guys that before. Um, yeah, I was doing different activities in here too. So go to school. Go to, um, mm -hmm. Right, school as opposed to college, right? Um, I'm going to my children's school. Yep. Yeah. Uh, going to the library. I don't remember. Oh, it's yeah, there. going to the library. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, stay home. Stay is just one hand or two hands, but palm down. Yeah, I'm gonna stay home. I'm gonna stay home and practice sign. Yeah, excellent. Um, going to church. Mm -hmm. Is it flat or? Yeah. So just two fists or fist on your non-dominant hand and just tap. Mm -hmm. Going to a meeting. Oh, very good meeting. Mm -hmm. You smarty pants. <laughs> yeah, really good. So, and you can think of that by like all these different people coming together and meeting. So I'm going to a meeting. I'm going to a church meeting. Um, call the doctor. Oh, what's this? You're thinking hospital. Oh. So doctor, yeah, you can either do with a D on the pulse or with a bent hand. And some people do it with, it's like a strong M, like for a medic. So I have to call the doctor. So is it Good. first? Yes. Exactly. Okay. Nurse. Mm -hmm. And sorry, I'm not, I'm blocking myself. So if I was saying like um, the advice nurse, you know how a lot of times they'll say we need to call advise or influence is like this. It's like it's coming from me and I'm spreading it to you. So I should call the advice nurse. 
um, place as in person, place or thing, or my favorite place mm. is peas. And you start with your middle fingers, your feeling fingers touching, and then coming close to you, place. Mm -hmm. So you might say something like, oh, my favorite place to go is maybe uh, clothes shopping or to the gym or to the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Bad example. <laughs> Um, show as in the verb, I'm going to show you. Is that just this? Yes, show. So I'm going to show you, show me, right? And when I did example, you'll see like this. Oh, for example, it's like for show, show. Or? Yeah, F-O-R. And then remember what for you can shortcut. Yeah, just exactly, what for? What's that for? <laughs> Show as in the noun, like um, a TV show or uh, a play, or that type of a show is a hand shapes and you just come in Mm -hmm. This is also the same for drama. If you're trying to do act or acting, again, a verb, you just do it bigger. So I might say, ask you, um, do you like to act? Um, high school. High school? Yep. Good. Yeah. Hungry and wish are the same sign. So good. Um, feed the dogs or feed the cat. Excellent feed. Mm -hmm. So it's just like give, you know, give me or give you, but feed is two hands and it's like you're actually feeding. And you could say feed the kids or feed the baby. We usually see with, I got a don't forget, feed the cat, feed the dog. Make. Make. Good, make. Mm -hmm. Yes, make coffee. I had to make the bed. Uh, I need to make time. Any, anything that you're making is this way. Good. And, and take care of or care for. Right. So twos. So I'm taking care of my friend's dog or I'm taking care of your brother or whatever, taking care, caring it's for. not a K, it's a two. Two, mm -hmm. caring for. I thought it was a K too, I did the same thing. I thought it was, I thought they were Ks. Two. Two. And, and if you tap, that's be careful. Be careful, right? Yeah, oh, be careful, be careful. Oh, don't hurry, be careful. Also twos, not Ks. Care for or take care of is just a, a circular motion. And then care, uh, be careful is tapping. And you're gonna see urgency on the face too with, with be careful. Yeah. Don't spill it, be careful, don't lose it. I forgot Good. to tell you, because we did be careful for Deanna being a cop. She got out of the hospital yesterday. She was in 18 days. Oh, yes. 18? She said it felt oh. like years, but she got home yes yesterday. 
Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Does she live alone? She does live alone. Her parents live close though. Okay. Eesh. I wonder if she's gonna need help for a while. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah I don't know. But she has yeah. fr friends and I mean, she has a support group. So I, I think she'll be fine, but she does live alone with her dog. So I'm sure her dog is happy. Oh yeah. Did you see her? No, and she's only texted me, but sometimes I'll wait a whole day for the text because she is just tired, I'm guessing. Oh, I'm sure. I'd like I to bet talk to her, but I haven't yet, so. I bet she's gotten pretty thin, too. I bet she's probably lost a lot of weight. 18 days in the hospital. Oof. Yikes. Um, okay, I think wash, I showed you guys last week. So wash, like dishes, and wash clothes. Oh, mm -hmm. and this laundry or washing clothes, you don't have to do, you know, I have to do laundry or, uh, yeah, I can't it forget. matter which one's on top, it feels better. For dominant, dominant hand on top. Oh, I like the other one. <laughs> then you're left-handed. <laughs> okay. Everybody will understand you. It's not a, a big problem. And then washing like a, a big thing, like a car or a wall, you're gonna just wash. Yeah, wash the car or wash the wall. Uh, wash the dog. Mm -hmm. um, full and empty. So full as in the opposite of empty is this. Like um, the glass is full or it's half full, not half empty. Yeah, all fractions you just do one over two, one fourth, a third. So the glass is half full. Empty is you slide off to the side with your feeling finger. So, I think I showed you guys early mm -hmm. was sliding over away from you. Empty is sliding to the side. And this is also the sign. Empty is also bare, naked, nude, all the same. So you would say, oh, the glass is empty or the classroom was empty. If I said, oh, You know, it's oh, he's naked, right? Not he's empty, right? <laughs> Can we learn a different thing for? We went this way. Just, uh, just okay. Instead of out this way, it went up this way. Okay. Was she using it like bare arms? No, she like completely naked. Completely oh, naked. naked. <laughs> okay. Well, I haven't seen that. As always. <laughs> I, I'm sure everybody would get the idea for that. Um, and just like you can also use that same hand shape, you know, with, it's like the 25 hand shape. But if you do this, it's like blank. So like, um, you know, or if I do this. Nothing. It's like <laughs> nothing going on. on. Yeah, my mind just went blank. Like I, uh, I, I completely, one. I completely forgot it. It's just, whoosh. yep. Oh, that's like, our new nothing. sign, girls. <laughs> it's a good sign. Another good sign that I used to uh, teach my students very early was not my problem, which I don't know if you guys learned that, but that's a sign that you will see a lot. And that's also with the feeling finger and you just flick off your shoulders. Not it's my problem. Somehow, doesn't it? Is what? I said it looks familiar. Oh, does it? But I don't. You'll see it a lot. Like uh, someone will say, you know, oh, well, I, I, I didn't have time to do my homework. You know, that's not my problem. I mean, that's, that's on you, right? 
So you will see this sign a lot. Deaf people use it a lot. Deaf people also use whatever a lot too. Whatever, anyway, doesn't matter. Same, it's all the same sign. Yeah, not my problem. Um, so full and empty, right? Pay. So that's buy, buy, pay. I'm gonna pay you. Oh, I can't forget to pay my rent, right? Rent and, and monthly are the same. Mm -hmm. So pay, pay me. Oh, does it come back? Yeah, so pay, don't forget to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Now, ASAP. Um, and then if I just tap, this is O or bills. So you owe me, pay me, okay? I can't forget to pay the bill, right? Um, earn. Mm. So it's like you're taking uh, the chips from a poker table and just pulling them all in, earn. Oh, I thought so, you said burn, and I thought, I'm not saying, okay, earn, yes, I can get earn, that. Earn, yes, earn, burn, or fire, okay. same, good, earn. So we earned this money, you know, you earned praise, any type of a earn, E-A-R-N, mm -hmm. not a U-R-N either. Right. <laughs> Will and won't. Will, it's like the short future, right? I will, yep. I'll practice, I will. And then won't, just the A right over your shoulder. I won't. Mm -mm. And it's really important that you get used to for will. Yeah, that. I, yep. You're affirming it, yep, I will. Mm -hmm. And won't. Mm -mm. Yeah. This is also refuse, same sign. So he refused to practice. If you won't practice, you won't improve. Just like any skill. So will and won't, and those are, are used a lot. Um, can and can't. Same thing. I can. Mm -hmm. Can't. Can't. Right. Can't. Can't forget. Right. I can. Um, don't mind or don't care. No. It's just one off your nose. And you'll see this a lot like, um, do you mind uh, picking up the kids? No. Uh, do you mind cleaning up your room? Mm, what do you think about, I don't care. Whatever, you know, shrug a shoulder. I don't care. That's, I don't mind. It doesn't matter. I <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Mm -hmm. And again, just the, the whole affirming or the negating, that's the big thing. Um, Drugstore, pharmacy, medicine is again, the feeling finger. And it's like the, you know, the mortar and pestle or whatever for, so drugstore, medicine store, um, if you're talking about drugs like illegal drugs or, you know, um, you know, drugs that are bad for you, the sign for drugs is an A and it's just like you're injecting. So, so-and-so is addicted, hooked, drug addicted, mm -hmm. but medicine this way. Dentist. 
I have to go to the dentist. So I need to go to the, I don't know. So dentist, you'll either see this dentist or dentist, like you're being injected. <laughs> People who don't mind the dentist generally use dentist like this. People who uh, the dentist use uh, tomorrow, right? Um, gasoline or fill up my car. Oh, we learned that one. Yeah. Yep. Got to fill it up. Gas. I need gas. Mm -hmm. Fill up. Good. Uh, volunteer. So this is an old sign for volunteer. Around here, this is still being used. It's like, oh, nobody's volunteering. So I'm, I'm picking you, you know, that way. So around here, you, you will always see volunteer this way. It's just an F and you're just pulling your shirt. So I volunteer at school or I volunteer at my church. I volunteer at the hospital, any type of volunteering. And that's, that's a good sign. Um, pack my bag. Is just, yep, pack, bag, suitcase. Just like you're holding your suitcase. I need to pack my bag. Mean or meaning? Like, what is the meaning of this? Or I didn't understand what, oh, excellent, Pran. Okay, so you know mean or meaning? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean? Mean what? What does that mean? Good, so that sign, you know. Depend or rely on, or that depends. Yeah, oh, that depends. So I want to depend on you. We, so maybe Deanna needs to rely on friends for a while. Depend. This is, well, it depends. Do a, how, what, while, is, a while again. A how while. Do, so this is also after a while, a while. Uh, do you want to eat now? Uh, after a while. Yeah, for a while. So the same idea of the clock face, mm -hmm. right? Minute, half hour, hour, for a while. Uh, clear. So you could say it's a clear day or you could say so-and-so signing is very clear easy to read, clear, mm -hmm. very clear. If it's muddled, you know, it's just kind of confusing. It's, this is the opposite. Oh, that was very clear. Mm -hmm. I didn't really get that. Yeah, right. Uh, celebrate. Yeah, celebrate, <laughs> X's, celebrate. This is also the same sign for anniversary. What's the difference between this and gym? Like I go to the gym to work out. Good, so celebrate, it's if you think of like you're holding the noisemakers on, you know, that twirl around those, it's just X. Gym is usually a closed X like this and you just do a little wiggle in there. So I have to go to the gym. I'm going to work out or work out or however you want, you know, work out. But gym is closed X. Circle. Celebrate. Celebrate good time. Come on. Okay. Uh, yes. Celebrate. Good. Um, sleep. Sleep. 
So, so this or this is bed. Okay. Sleep. Oh, yes. Is this way. Sleep or sleepy. You could say, you know, I'm tired. Ooh, I'm sleepy. It's time for sleep. And then, and then you will. It's not my eyes. problem. Mm -mm. Yes. That way. <laughs> that's what a lot of times. Oh, I'm so tired. Sorry. Come on. <laughs> you, yes, that's right. You shouldn't have been on your computer, on your phone. Um, grow. Like grow. Yes, grow. Like grow plants or uh, grow vegetables and then grow up. I know you guys knew that. Mm -hmm. So grow up. I showed you address. Um, argue. Is that the same as fight? So a physical fight would be fight like this or fight like this, but an argument or a fight like, uh, you know, so-and-so got in a fight, they were just arguing. It's just ones and you're just going back and forth like this, argue. Stop arguing. That's enough, finish. You are wrong. Yes. <laughs> and, and then get along, I should have put on there, but I didn't. So if you fight or you argue, get along is just your bent hands, thumbs up, get along. So I would say, um, you know, yeah. now that they've grown up, they get along usually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So get along, fight, argue, uh, party. So there's two parties and it's kind of the same way with live and live. It used to be party with peas, party, birthday party, anniversary party. Now more often you'll see it with wise party. And- uh, Play and party. Yes, play and party. Mm -hmm. And this is really more like the noun party, you know, like I'm gonna go to a party, a, a, a retirement party or some type of a celebration. High school kids will go, oh, party, let's go party. It's like, no, it doesn't really work like that. Because if you're gonna go party, it's not this type of thing. It's either, you know, just doing stupid stuff. But this more of the, like the, the noun birthday party. Oh, did you have fun at the party? Did you have a good time? Um, remember and forget. Mm -hmm. And forget, good. It seems like most people always remember the sign forget <laughs> and they forget the sign remember. <laughs> so that's good if you remember. It's like it's stuck here. I remember. Oh, I forgot. Uh, get or receive. Obtain is just fives to fifths. So I got that. So did you get my letter? Did you get the newspaper? Did you remember to get your meds, right, get. And then take or grab, you're just swiping it, mm -hmm. take. And this is literally, oh, don't forget, take your coat, take the money, take your keys, anything that you're literally taking with you. Good. And then get up and take up. So get up like from a sitting position or get up like what time did you get up this morning is just literally here's the floor. 
here you are laying on your back and now you're up. Get up. Get up. And then take up as in what you are doing, you are taking up sign. You're, you're taking is the same as adopt. So I am taking ASL, I am taking a test. I am, you know, uh, taking, taking up French, anything that you uh, take in that regard is this way, just like adopt. Okay, and then just some, uh, some, maybe some personality traits. The sign for personality is just a P circle on the chest. Sign for character, C. Oh, so that person has good character, a really nice personality, right? Friendly or pleasant is just spirit fingers going, <laughs> yeah, friendly. And if they're not friendly, unfriendly. Oh, there's a friendly face and you need to look friendly or pleasant. Um, funny. Was it? Close. Oh, yes, funny. So, so fun was the U or the H, fun. And then funny is we always called this the gun handshake, funny. Did, did she show you this? I don't remember. This that. is ha ha, H A, it, ha ha. And, and so this is kind of used like both sarcastically and like, oh my gosh, that was funny. You would say ha ha like this. So it's just like ha ha on your nose is funny. Ha ha. Um, sweet. Sweet. So that is a sweet person. Ooh, that was really sweet. You're gonna show a different expression, but oh, my grandma, sweet. Ooh, the baby, so sweet. And then mean or cruel is fives, dominant hand higher, and then you pull down to A's in both of them, mean mean, cruel person, mean, don't be mean, be nice. Uh, loud and quiet. Mm -hmm. Loud is the same as thunder. I don't know if you remember that. It's also the same as boom. It's just sound. Yeah, loud, Woo. loud. Quiet bees. This is also the sign for peaceful, calm, quiet, as opposed to be quiet or shh, you're just going to use the same. Oh, wow. Outside today, so quiet. Sun was shining. It's beautiful. There too, everybody? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Seven. Oh my gosh, 67. But that was huge. Fifty four, yeah. That's not bad. Um outgoing and shy. So outgoing is A's coming out. So, oh, very outgoing, friendly, outgoing. And then shy is bent hand, shy. 
and you get a shy look on your face too. You don't really look at ooh, shy, mm -hmm. shy. Ooh, outgoing. Arrogant or big headed. Oh. Oh, arrogant. So you know how big was cha same? Just put it on your head, big headed. So that, and you'll usually see the, like. The, Do you have the thumb out or no? Okay. That, I, I always call it kind of like a bent L. Okay. What we refer to it as a bent L. And humble is just bees again. Humble. Humble, quiet, humble, not arrogant. Um, skilled or really good at or a master at something. You're just gonna pull right off your non-dominant hand. So I would always ask my students, um, What would you say? What was ski? Yeah, skiing. So, and you would want to do water skiing or snow skiing. Yep, excellent. How about Rochelle? Really good. You don't have to be an expert. Ah, no sign for crafts. So that's right, finger spell. Yep. Excellent. How about you, Fran? Excellent. Good. Um, and then the opposite of being really skilled at something or really good at something is this sign. And this is that you are just a really bad at it. You're just inept at that. And then you know, we would talk about things that we were, re you know, pretty good at, you know, pretty skilled and pretty, eh, you know, and true to form, there'd be a big long list that kids think they are at and a very short list that they think they're this at. So we really tried to focus on being a little more confident and positive. Um, boring. Yep, boring, interesting. There's like two likes, but you're coming up and out. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, interesting. And you'll get that look on, that's good expression right there. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. If it's not interesting. Uh, positive and negative. So another personality trait, positive, positive, and you're just tapping. Your dominant hand is the horizontal one. Yep, very positive, always positive. Mm -hmm. Yep, never positive, always negative. Don't be negative. Try to be more positive. And never again, what was? Never. Just a B. It's just like you're making a seven or a right angle. Never. Never, always, sometimes. Yep. And then once in a while. Mm -hmm once in a while. Great. Um, smart. Smart. Yep, smart. Mm -hmm. Stupid. I don't know. That was good. Yeah. Stupid. Dumb. Stupid. And then we, I would use that always by saying there are 
right? No stupid questions. Ask me. Ask, ask for help, right? Stupid. Was this ask? Ask me. Mm -hmm. Ask me. Okay. I'm going to ask you. I'll ask you for help. Yeah. So again, all those directional verbs. And then motivated or enthusiastic, That's eager, <laughs> all, yep, all the same. Ooh. So so-and-so is very motivated. Maybe you're not motivated or you're lazy. Yeah. And you'll see this a lot with like, oh, today, I feel lazy. I want to stay home, sleep kind of way. Um, how's that? That's a lot. I have to watch that video for sure because, yeah. That was a lot. <laughs> that was good stuff. It was, the thing that, was, that I covered think. a long list. You know, it was a lot. And, and I don't ever want too much. But the thing is that a lot of those signs really bring out the facial expression and the non-manual signals. And to be honest, that's as important, if not more important than what's on your hands, because you'll see deaf people, when you talk to them, they don't look at your hands. I mean, when I'm looking at you, I don't know if you can tell, I'm just looking at your face. And when you're looking at me, obviously the hands are the periphery, but you want to try and get better at looking more at the face and the hands being in the periphery. And, and here, with our signing space not being as big because of this mm -hmm. square, I think you probably are looking more at my face. And that's, that's really, I mean, you can always act out something and you can always write down if you don't have the vocab. So maybe um, just something to think about for next week, maybe think about a couple of activities or um, sports or things like you said crafts cooking whatever you enjoy and why being able to share why you enjoy that and maybe a sport or an activity that you want to try and one that you don't want to try and why that'll just kind of give you I'll, I'll email that to you um, but something to think about that we can practice for for next week. And that we can receptive read what Rochelle likes to do, what she's good at. What she exactly. <laughs> and I'll do the same thing. I'll go first and then you can see how you can follow and then we'll just take turns. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay. And if it ever seems like there's too much vocabulary, we can always just like we did last week, you know, just take a step back, practice, think about it, and maybe let me know during the week if you want a little bit more or we want to just hold and practice and we'll go from there. I think we all, I know I loved last week applying. And so I like doing that every now and then. I thought that was very okay. productive for me. Okay, well, let's do that again next week. We'll start out by sharing some and then we'll just try and do more just conversational stuff. Uh, awesome build our confidence <laughs> what were you going to say Rochelle what's the sign for vocabulary vocabulary so word. some people do vocabulary like word list and some people do vocabulary like this I tend to more often just do vocab like this because to be honest you've got really you've got a pretty big basic vocabulary now now it's a, a matter of just you know context and, and using it and getting more in conversations so I think that's smart okay awesome thank you so thank much. you thank you have a good week you too. see you later
Do you want to do a practice at all during the week? I would love to. What what day is you text me when you you see one because my schedule is pretty flexible. So, okay. um, like I get home at five, so mm -hmm. anytime after five thirty, or weekend. Mm -hmm. You're probably busy with Mark or something on the weekend, but no, nope. I, I mean, not so much. That's we but, just leave him off the. <laughs> So, um, yeah, because the practices we did in between with the other course were very helpful. Yes. Um, and I'm finding I, I'm not using at all. Mm -hmm. and, and in the classroom, I'm telling the kids to sit down.